Hey, what up guys, how's it going? I got something kind of cool. Well, three cool new things. I have three new cameras here by Swan. I have their new outdoor wireless security camera, their indoor security camera, as well as their Dun, da, 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 their floodlight security camera system. Now, since all of these are unique, all three of these are super cool, they deserve their own video. So I'm gonna make three separate videos. So this video that you're watching right now, I'm gonna talk about one of these, and then in the description below, you'll go ahead and see links for the other two. So anyways, let's get into one of these. Here is Swan's new floodlight security camera system. I'll hold it up so you can see it here. I'll even come in closer so you can get a good look at it. So it has Wi-Fi built in, 1080p, sensor floodlights, two-way audio and siren warning, local and cloud recording, and it's viewable via your smartphone as well as you get alerts. Now this works with Google's Home Assistant as well as Amazon Alexa. Now you guys know Swan, that's one thing I really like about them is they don't charge you any fees to view your own cameras. I absolutely love that. This also has True Detect, and we're gonna be using the Safe by Swan app. Now one thing I wanna make really clear about this camera is it has to be hardwired, which means it doesn't get plugged in, there's no batteries. It has to be hardwired to a power source. Now this can only go on the exterior of your home, and you're gonna need a circular electrical box, also known as a J box. And you're gonna hook your black wire to black, white to white, and then you're also going to connect the ground wire. So please don't think this is something that can go in a bedroom or anything like that. This goes on the exterior of your home and it has to be hardwired. If you don't know how to install it, please don't take any chances, call a professional. Now, if you're wondering what a J box looks like or what exactly I'm referring to, here's a picture on the exterior of my home where I have an electrical box. I'm gonna be using Swan's bracket, put it here. And uh, yeah, that's where I'm gonna go ahead and install it. So. Uh, I'm gonna stop talking, I'm gonna unbox it, we're gonna check it out, see how cool it is, then I'm gonna install it in my backyard and we'll do a couple of tests so you can see it and um, check it out. Okay, so here's the Floodlight Security System Wi-Fi Series by Swan and uh, let's go ahead and open this up. There's also a link in the description if you wanna buy this. Okay, you got your instruction manual, quick start guide, welcome to the family, warranty information, all right here. It's gonna be your uh, mounting bracket and hardware. Okay, and here is the unit itself. Now, like I said before, this is going to need to be hardwired. And here are the connections that go right here. So. The green and yellow, that's your ground. This is your neutral wire. And then you have your black here, which will be your hot. Again, if you don't know what you're doing, please hire a professional. And uh, if you are gonna attempt this yourself, make sure you go to your breaker and shut off all the power. So uh, also they have this donut right here. Let me show you. That just before you mount it to the electrical box, to the J box, You'll go ahead and peel off the back of this. Okay, slip this through here. And then install it. This foam, this padding here is gonna help provide some uh, protection from okay, so water. Let's get a better look at it. And um, here's where you'll adjust it. You wanna loosen this up so that way you can move the floodlights wherever you want to. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and leave this uh, plastic tab here, protecting the front and the lens until I'm done completing the installation. But here's what it looks like. And uh, it's solid, it's got some good weight to it. Also on the back of here, in case when you guys go to pair it, if you have any issues or later on down the road, anything, here's a reset button if you wanna go ahead and reset and, that. And uh, you can also adjust the camera. Just move the neck around, turn it right, left, and then uh, same thing as messing with the uh, floodlights right here and turn it. You wanna loosen it, make it a little easier when you're adjusting it, and then tighten it down. 
But that's it, pretty straightforward. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, install this in my backyard and then uh, we'll go through the app and see what it looks like. All right, guys. Okay, now that the installation is done, we're gonna go ahead and go to the Safe by Swan app. It's in your Google Play or um, iOS store. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and open that up. Now make sure you've created an account and all of that. And we're gonna go to Pair Camera, and then we're gonna select Swan Floodlight Camera. Okay, get started. Should be in pairing mode. Okay, it says make sure it's in pairing mode and that's when there's a blue flashing light on the camera itself. Uh, I verified that. Now I'm gonna go to the Wi-Fi settings and select the floodlight cam. Okay, so it's all paired up, ready to go. And I'll name it. Backyard, done. All right, and that's it, we're all ready to go. Once I went ahead and um, did the settings with the Wi-Fi signed in, it just paired up all itself and it's good to go. Now if you slide it up and down, you see that? That's how bright or dark the um, floodlights will be. Now the siren, you tap that there and it's on. Tap it again, off, and trust me, it is extremely bright. Now if you just tap there like I did, it says it's off. You tap there again, it says it's on. Sorry if you can't see that. Now, due to the fact that it was raining, I had to move my um, floodlight cam in the garage. That way when I go to walk around and test it, I'm not getting all wet. Now, luckily for me, I have a J box in my garage, so we're still good. So uh, let's see what the garage looks like. Let me put this in landscape. Okay, now I turned it sideways so you can see the full menu there. Now that's in my garage right now. There's no lights on, that is just the infrared that you see there. It's completely pitch black in my garage. Now on the left, we can go ahead and turn on the light. So I press that there and then bang. And it'll now switch to color. Let me zoom in so you guys can see just how clear that is. Now that's in my garage right now, real time. Uh, that's what's happening. Now what I'm also gonna do is upload the video directly into this uh, video that you're seeing here so it's not just the camera showing my phone you'll actually see it exactly how it looks And uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. It's really clear. Let me tell you, the lights are extremely bright and the siren is very, very loud. Like I'm, I'm afraid to cut it on right now because I'm gonna wake up whoever's in my house. So uh, trust me, take my word for it. It's very, very loud. Okay, now bring up the menu again. Now, I don't know if you could see, but there's an icon that says record. There's another one right here that says capture. And there's another one on the right that says activity. Now that you hit activity, that shows you all the motion functions that have happened. If you hit capture, boom, in the upper left, it says captured. Now it's there. And then when you go to activity, you could see that picture and then save it to your camera roll. Let's say right now I wanted to record you see, and it's recording in 20 second clips at 1080p. So I'll go ahead and stop that. Okay, so that stopped. Now over here in the upper right, let me move that over. You'll see the setting and the uh, speaker on or off. Now you can talk to them if you'd like. Now this is to cut the sound off. 
Then I'll hit it again in the upper right to cut the sound on. Now it's dead silent in my garage, but trust me, you can hear. Okay, we're in the settings of the camera. Now environment, indoor, outdoor, whatever you wanna pick, but I would imagine this will be outdoor. Uh, yeah, live video image quality, medium, high, low, whatever you wanna set it at. You could also flip the image. True detect motion sensitivity, you adjust that right there at the bottom. So uh, maybe you want it really sensitive, maybe you don't. It's totally up to you. Siren, it is loud, people, trust me. Uh, you, you have a setting right there at the bottom that says triggered by motion. So if you want the siren to go off every single time motion is detected, you could turn that on. Uh, volume of it, low, medium, high, it's up to you. And uh, triggered siren will stay on for how long? So every time motion is detected, do you want it, the siren to go on for one minute, five minutes? Uh, you can pick right here. One, two, five minutes, 30 seconds, 15 seconds, uh, five seconds. Totally up to you. And you also have the light adjustment that you see here. And when motion is detected, how long will the light stay on? And same thing down here, 30 seconds, one minute, two minutes. Completely customizable. Uh, yeah, that's it. That is the floodlight cam. Let's go back. Let me turn this sideways. Now what I'm gonna do really quick is go in the garage and have my Alexa play so we could hear the audio and uh, play it here. Okay, I'm in my garage and you can hear Alexa talking via the speaker in my garage. The dog snickered. The cat rolled his eyes and he curled into a ball. That the speaker's pretty loud. I don't know how well the microphone's picking it up, but trust me, it's loud. Okay, now this is Alexa talking. Hi, Janice, says the girl. She lowers her hands to the table and giggles as he wobbles to and fro within a gentle corral. All right, I'm here in my garage. As you can see, it's completely dark. Can't see anything. And let's see how long it takes the floodlight cam to see me before the lights cut on and how quick we get a notification. So, I'm gonna take a step in the garage. Boom, busted, and there's the notification. That's pretty quick. Also, if you have a Amazon Echo device, or blah, 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 I don't wanna say the name because it'll activate, um, or if you have a 4K Fire TV like I do here from Amazon, I'll go ahead and speak to it. I will say, show backyard. And then it's gonna take a couple seconds here, and then it should go ahead and boot up the cam, and I'll be able to see the garage where I moved it because it was raining. And there you go. Not too bad, that's real time, no editing. No nothing, that's my garage right now. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so that's it. You guys have seen all the footage. You've seen daytime, nighttime, setup, install. You've now even seen it on my 65 inch TV here in the master bedroom. But uh, yeah, it's working, everything's great. As long as you have an Amazon Alexa or a 4K Fire TV, you can go ahead and get it on your television. Alexa. Show backyard. Okay. Waiting for Swan Communications. And there it is. All right, guys.